Well, look, it's me again. No, this isn't, uh, this isn't my house before anyone actually thinks that. I don't own a house. Not off of YouTube ad revenue, anybody doesn't. But I kind of needed, you know, to use a house so that I could have a place that has a lot of stuff in it for me to use for this video. So, exactly what the title says, what is, at least immediately around you, uh, that sort of makes up your, your average daily life, made out of petroleum? Now, the answer isn't everything, it's just basically everything. Starting with mundane, you know, generic average items like this water bottle and the, uh, the coloring inside the label and the cap on this water bottle. This pen and uh, any other pen, along with, you know, the ink inside the pen. This bottle of soap and uh, basically the soap inside the bottle. There's a few things in there that aren't made from petroleum, but it's basically petroleum. Same deal with this bottle of shampoo and, uh, you know, obviously the shampoo inside the bottle of shampoo, except for like the 1% that's zinc, but you know, the rest of it's petroleum. This sales case of these, uh, these toothbrushes, the, uh, the toothbrushes inside this case of toothbrushes, obviously, and all the coloring agents used in the toothbrushes and in the advertising. This bottle of toothpaste and uh, the toothpaste inside this bottle of toothpaste, except again for the, uh, the like 1.1% uh, by weight that's sodium and fluoride. The fluoride we get from the mineral floor spar, uh, but uh, of course the the fuel uh, used by the massive mining vehicles that dig up that floor spar and uh, the ships that ship it around the world for us to use in our toothpaste, that's all from petroleum, obviously. And also the rubber in their tires. Uh, if you've ever seen haul truck tires, you know, they're like the size of houses. This bottle of hand sanitizer and uh, the hand sanitizer inside of this bottle of hand sanitizer. This bottle of foot powder. Not the foot powder inside the bottle, that's talc, but that has to be mined up, you know, using hundreds of thousands of gallons of diesel fuel, which is also made from petroleum. This bottle of vitamins, also the, uh, the sticky adhesive resin that's used to glue the label around the bottle, and pretty much any other label that's, you know, stuck to any other bottle. This container of dental floss, except for the, uh, the little tiny bit of metal there, also, the, uh, the dental floss itself, because in most cases it's Teflon, which is made from petroleum, uh, unless you have one of those rare instances where you're using twine dental floss, but that's, that's basically just razor wire, so I don't know why you'd be using that on your gums. This phone case, the uh, adhesives uh, and glues used to uh, you know, hold this phone and its various pieces together. This umbrella, except for the, the metal top. Uh, also, even the... Uh, the laminate on the wooden handle of this umbrella that, you know, we put on basically any wood product nowadays that uh, we come into contact with so that we don't get splinters. This lighter, except for the, uh, the lanthanum metal parts up there, uh, as well as obviously the lighter fluid inside of this lighter. This shirt, it's polyester. The, uh, the dyes inside of this shirt, the dyes inside of those, those curtains behind me, dyes inside the towels. Petroleum, do you get it now? I don't think so, so we'll keep going. This Tupperware container here full of chocolate chip cookies. This container here, some cornbread. Laminate on this wood, on, you know, this counter surface, uh, keeping you from getting splinters from this wood as well. The shiny laminates, uh, you know, all over the wooden floors. This jar of peanut butter. Uh, thankfully not the peanut butter inside the jar, at least. The LDPE packaging of this, uh, this loaf of bread. The fruit packaging, uh, that you, you know, pick fruit out in, in the stores with. This jug of excellent aborted chocolate milk. This other jug of just regular milk. This jug of, uh, orange juice with mango, of course, because mango's the best. The, uh, the faucet heads and whatnot in, uh, most of your sinks. I know you probably, right now, you're probably thinking, but it's metal. Wrong. It's plastic. It's plastic with a thin veil of chromium put on the outside of it to, uh, to protect it and make it all fancy and shiny for you. Behind this uh, curtain here, the, you know, handles for the windows, the, uh, 
the plastic window frame casings. The actual frame inside of those is aluminum, but uh, the casing there, that's plastic. The uh, paint on both that and, you know, just the regular paint on the wall. There's rubber gloves here uh, of whoever's house this is. Uh, that's petroleum, obviously. Dish detergents, petroleum, more dish detergents, also petroleum. Mixing spoon, petroleum. The handles on these and many other scissors, petroleum. The coverings on, you know, your lights and switches and power outlets, those are petroleum. The rubber and this power cord is petroleum. The rubber in those, those water hoses for this washing machine is petroleum. Laundry soap, petroleum. Floor cleaners and Swiffer Jet stuff, petroleum. Dryer sheets, may not think that's petroleum, but uh, it's actually petroleum. It's, it's a polyester mesh with some ammonium salts on it. These flip-flops, these shoes, all those other shoes and flip-flops. Do you get it now? This garbage can, these, uh, the garbage uh, bags inside of that garbage can, the outer portion of, uh, you know, most of your, like, snack bags. The inside has an aluminum lining, but the outer portion, it's plastic. Regular, you know, generic old plastic bags, Ziploc bags. Plastic saran wrap that, uh, basically everything's wrapped in when it's uh, shipped on pallets and even sometimes in smaller things like uh, the stack of paper plates. The window blinds up here. Remote controls for TVs and, uh, you know, Alexa nonsense and all other stuff. This vacuum cleaner, pretty much any vacuum cleaner. The LDP plastic wrapping around, uh, you know, this package of toilet paper that everyone, you know, was emptying the shelves of several months back. These sheets and blankets. The memory foam that you can't see underneath this blanket. The regular foam and cushioning material inside the regular mattress that you can't see under these blankets. Your keyboards, your mouse, your mouse pad if you have one. This flashlight even. The shower curtains with happy kitty faces on them. The, uh, the shower casing itself. These uh, floor tiles here in whoever's house this is, is bathroom. Basically, if it feels smooth, if the tile feels smooth, it's fake, it's a form of plastic. If it feels rough, then it's actually stone. Uh, this rug and carpet here, this rug and carpet out here, obviously the dyes that were used in it as well. This laundry hamper, pretty much any other laundry hamper. This uh, can of Febreze air freshener, unless it's a, a steel one, in which case it's mostly steel except for the top and the trigger. The uh, air freshener inside of your can of air freshener. The little sliding uh, top here on this thing of salt. This bottle of one of my prescriptions. Also the, uh, the medication inside of the bottle itself. This bottle of generic shelf medication. This one's ibuprofen. Also the generic, you know, medicine, in this case ibuprofen, inside of the bottle. The rubber, these tires, the foam in this old ancient pool noodle. You can't see it very well, but uh, the seat cover in this, this car seat. Also the cushioning foam inside of the seat. The, uh, the rubber pads down on the bottom. The steering wheel, pretty much the entire dashboard. The, uh, the seat belt, except for, you know, the metal buckle, but basically the whole seat belt. This garden hose, except for the, the metal end. The handles on a lot of parts of all the lawn care equipment for the lawn of, I don't know, whoever's house this is. The paint in this paint can. These uh, plastic containers of stuff. This old uh, lightsaber toy and uh, basically almost any other toy your child has. The bristles on this uh, little sweeper, and the bigger sweeper, and basically any broom you have. Almost forgot, but the uh, the brake fluid, and high, all the other hydraulic fluid and stuff inside of every vehicle. This, uh, this stick of deodorant, and the deodorant inside this stick of deodorant. This generic old uh, shopping bag. This thing of uh, chapstick, and the chapstick inside this thing of chapstick. These headphones. 
Also the rubber in the, uh, the cord for these headphones. The rubber in this cord for this phone charger. All the material in uh, one of my Arctic Gear gloves. This cat toy over here. This backpack. Basically any and every other backpack. You have any suitcases, uh, those are, those are uh, petroleum too. You know, face masks that everyone's being forced to wear now. This container of ooze and the uh, ooze inside of this container. And uh, basically, you know, any other kind of random, trivial, trinket or knick-knack thing that uh, most often you'll find in like tourist trap stores. This carpet, this rug, this rubber thing in between the uh, the doorways this couch or sofa the cushioning inside of it all of this pavement out here and all the other pavements all across the world literally however many hundreds of millions of miles of roads and parking lots and everything all across the world that's all asphalt all tar all petroleum and also uh on roofs, I'm, I'm not gonna go up on these people's roof and like pry shingles off of it to show you the uh, the tar layer underneath them. But uh, roofs have tar underneath uh, whatever their their top layer is to make them waterproof. Already talked about the paint on these walls, but uh, also the insulation inside all of these walls that you can't see because I'm not gonna bust the wall open just to show you. But that's all petroleum. This big blubbery fluffy cat. Not petroleum, but she still wanted to be in the video anyways. The liquid crystals inside of the LCD display that you're watching this on. The uh, little resonating membrane inside of the speakers that's creating the artificial sound allowing you to listen to this as well. The very case and frame of the camera that I'm recording this on. And basically it, it just uh, keeps on going for all of eternity after that. But I think that's, that's enough to finally ask once and for all, do you get it now? Well, that's about it for that. Uh, I, hope that was, I hope that was relatively informative and maybe like 2% dark and foreboding also. But yeah, so basically uh, your entire existence around you is uh, all synthesized from petroleum. Some of it's from natural gas, but it's mostly petroleum. 13 million barrels a day to make all the various kinds of plastics. And under the plastic umbrella, uh, that, that also includes like all the uh, insulations and foams, polyesters, seat cushioning, all that kind of stuff. That's, that's all in there. Another seven and a half heading towards eight million barrels a day to uh, make all the various kinds of petrochemicals, your soaps, your shampoos, your medicines, your hand sanitizers about 10 million barrels a day used as tar and asphalt, a smaller unspecified odd assortment used as uh, brake fluid and hydraulic fluids and lubricating oils. It's all petroleum.